and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, and As Bob. we said quite often, Brad, we're also the most modest. Yes, so. <laughs> say no more, Bob, say Today, no Brad, more. Today, Brad, we're gonna talk about the most important exercises to help with a pinched nerve and neck pain. That is that nagging pain that just yeah. doesn't go away mm -hmm. and it can go down your arm and this is not fun. Yep, so sometimes look at the ball's not even happy. <laughs> sometimes so. back in that shoulder blade area that we'll refer to. Um, so yeah, let's yeah, let's talk but, about but Bob, it. Bob, there are a couple of people out there that have not watched us in Hi, the past. Folks. Yeah, and welcome to our channel. Please take a second to subscribe to us. We have a subscription button here and here. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Excellent. All right, Brad, first off, we're going to make the assumption that uh, most neck pain or, or pinched nerves could be like a herniated disc, mm -hmm. or it could also be a case where you actually have, um, I'm sorry, do you need something? No, we're just looking at this here. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to get one from my dad. Okay. I'm sorry. That's right. Um, most neck pain is caused by either a pinched nerve, such as a herniated disc, or mm -hmm. also thoracic outlet syndrome. Sure. But no matter what it is, Brad, posture is the big issue. Okay. I and mean, you, you've got to correct your posture because that is often causing or contributing to the pinched nerve. Yep. So we're gonna we're gonna do kind of a three prong approach here. First off, we're gonna show you exercises to improve your posture. And then we're going to show you exercises to decrease the pinched nerve pain, hopefully. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to show you positional changes you should make in your life. Right. So. And they all fit into the same, reach the same goal. All right. First one, posture that you really want to do, because everybody does a lot of sitting, is you want to do some shoulder squeezes, Brad. Right. Because the more those shoulders are forward, especially in thoracic outlet syndrome, right. and also even in a pinched nerve, um, as far as herniated disc, you want to get those shoulders back. So right. every once in a while, every hour, you can do these if you want. You're gonna go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades together. And you can do, you know, count to three, count to five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And, and another thing is, think about going back and down. It's a little thing, but it yeah. is important. So instead of going up towards your ears, because some people will do that, it's back and down. Yeah, excellent point, Brad. All right, next one, we've shown this a million times too. You're at your desk and you're forward like this. You're looking down like this mm -hmm. and you got that head forward. Right. So you have to correct okay. that with chin tucks. And this is actually mm -hmm. part of the treatment too, generally quite sure. often, right. that we start people with doing chin tucks. So you're backing up your chin and you're not going down like this. You're not going up like this. You're just going straight back like this. It's critical that you get up in a tall posture before you do the chin tuck though. You don't want to be slouched on chin tuck. It's got to be up tall, arch the back, and then work that chin tuck. Right, because this would actually probably make things worse if right. you're down here. Yeah, yeah. you really got to work on, we're, you know, we're trying to work on posture here, so. Right, it's critical uh, for, for life. All right, I'm going to show the wall angels, Brad, too. I've, I've just recently kind of started these, and I really like these. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, even us after doing this for 20, 30 years, we pick up a new one and it's like... Yeah, what I like about this, Brad, is kind of a test, too, to where you're yeah. at. Because mm -hmm. if you can't get your head back, right? and, you know, if you're like this and your shoulders aren't even back, yep. you're in a bad position. <laughs> so you got to start working your way back. And I know we did a video even where you would measure, didn't right. you? Like you'd measure how far away you were. But you want to get it back like this, and then you bring your arms up like this, and you just do some angels. You bet. Going up and, down. and you're strengthening while you're doing this. Yeah. And it's a great posture exercise. And it's showing where you're at. Just, just so. keep in mind that your butt, your bottom, your sacrum right back here has got to be touching the wall, yeah. your shoulders. So it's, it's from here to here, you're flat up against the wall. It's getting you from this to this. Yep. You look like an angel. Oh, All thank right. you, Bob. Oh. All right, let's start with the exercise now to help actually decrease the pinched nerve pain. All right. Now, quite often what we're trying to do is we're trying to find that position that's gonna help decrease the pain going down the arm. So quite often with a pinched nerve, you might get numbness, tingling all the way into the hand, right. pain. And so we're looking for a position that by repeating it, it actually starts to take the pain out of the hand, numbness, tingling out of the hand, out of the arm, and bring it back up into here right. where eventually it goes away. All right, we'll call it centralization. You bring the pain to one point. So one we did already was chin tucks. You, right. You're doing those. You wanna start off with those. That's a good way, you know, kind of a low level one to start off with. And then usually we're gonna start with extensions. Sure. So you wanna go back and you're gonna, this is one, the, the universal one you're gonna to try to see if it's gonna help decrease the pain down the arm. Right, and, and a chair with a backrest can be helpful. 
and you do the chin tuck first and then kind of rest into the chair and go back. And if you get back in here, a lot of times people are getting back in here and they'll get a sharp pain and it'll hurt over in the shoulder blade. And if it really hurts like that, then you need to stop. Don't push it. You need to yeah, approach it a little bit more subtly. Go as far as it'll allow you. So right. if you can go like in this little range to start off with, maybe do that for sure. a day yep. and then go further. Right. And if you get stuck, we've had a lot of other videos on how to go take this further, but if you get stuck, um, uh, the towel is always a great way right. to start. We have a couple different ways that we do it. A lot of times I'll do it this way. Well, I do it Bob's way too. But, you know, a lot of times just getting the towel rolled back with a little support can make that much more comfortable, increase your range, and get that centralization, that pinched nerve pain out of the arm. Um, if you want more to be more specific, what do you call that again? Selfage. The selfage, the edge yeah. of the towel. Edge of the towel. And get it right, and it's usually low on the neck. It's not usually up here. So I would typically go there. Uh, there, and I can definitely and then feel you can it even there. bring it up. Yeah, yeah. bring this, it up with the eyes. Yeah, this is a this towel is too short to really yeah. do it. I need a, a longer towel. towel. To, although it's working not too bad actually. Okay. The other one that um, may work for you too, if that one just doesn't seem like it's going anywhere and you're not you're not making any uh, uh, change in the pain, the one that I like to do is a chin tuck and then I actually uh, side bend towards the side of the sure. pain. So when you do this, don't bring your shoulder up like okay. this. So you're gonna chin tuck and then go this way. And it should feel, again, this is something that you want it to feel good. Right. So like, you know what? It, it doesn't hurt when I do this. And you know, after I do it a while, I actually, things start to feel a little bit better right. in the arm. Right. So again, this is the one that was the magic one for me. And I think it's because when I do notes and stuff like that, Brad, I'm like this all day you're long. Always, always in one direction. Yeah, I'm always yeah. in one direction. You'll find that a lot of people when they're on the phone or when they write, their neck is always in one direction, and when you do that year after year, it can cause problems right. down with the pinched nerves. So we exactly. actually want to go the opposite direction. And, and and again, these are once if you find the right direction, you can do it ten times every hour. Sure. I mean that's right. how often you can do it. And, and it should have consistent results. Every time you do ten of them, it feels better as a result of it. You know you're on the right track. Let's show a couple of positioning things here, Brad. Like um, I, I, this one works out real well. As just a good old overall stretch. Do you mind doing this one, Brad? You always do this I one so well. I do like the foam roller. So this is just a great stretch. This one of the guys that works for us actually does this for his thoracic outlet syndrome. And he just lays on this and look how this stretches everything out here. It stretches out the shoulders and it puts the neck in the right position. And it's just such a nice, easy way to 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 stretch everything without working at it. Now, now this cushion here is an option. Some people will prefer this. I actually prefer it out. Yeah, these are both from OPTP. The, um, they're a great provider of uh, therapeutic devices and exercise devices. And uh, this is called actually the Pro Roller Arch. And uh, this is their a little bit softer foam roller, isn't yeah. it, Brad? Yeah, so. this is a lower medium density or low density, it's softer. You'll find it more comfortable for doing this uh, particular exercise. I just like that stretch. I thought we'd show it. Oh, I love right. laying there. The other thing, Brad, is you know, if you don't make changes in your lifestyle as far as positioning for your neck, mm -hmm. you're going to go right back into the pain. Right. So one thing, you know, when you're sitting, especially at a computer, um, if it's a laptop or whatever it is, you got to get that screen up. Here we got just a, a general model yeah. here. If I'm if I'm here and I'm typing away, you can see I'm looking over the top of the screen, which is going to draw my head down towards the screen. I'm not thinking about anything but work, and that this can happen. So what, all I'm going to do, and you don't have to go out and buy an expensive computer tray or table, but you can if you want, or you just you know block it up, and there we go. Now I'm back up where I need to be. My eyes are looking at the top half of the screen. Makes a big difference. Now I don't have that tendency to do this. All day long. Exactly. And, and the thing is that um, you're also going to want to, again, do this with a laptop. You're going to want to get a, a laptop raised up and then use a separate keyboard. Ke yeah, and wireless just, keyboard. They're, they're yeah. really inexpensive now, and they really make life a lot easier. Um, same thing when you're watching TV, Brad. I don't want you, sl sl you know, slumping into a, a, can I use the chair? Yeah, please do, Bob. <laughs> You know, what is it people get into their soft chair recliner and yeah. why they're like this? Yeah. So it's quite often good to take a pillow and put it in your back and give yourself some positioning. And, and, uh, and especially one of those little small throw pillows, right. Brad. It'll, yeah. just, it'll line you right up really right. nicely. So, yeah, I, 
Uh, it all depends on where you put it where you want, but it's gonna, yeah. it's, you're going to feel it straighten it's gonna out. String you out. Same thing in the car, Brad. I don't want your, you know, you don't want your seat reclined. Yeah. Um, because if you recline it, what your head's going to do this. Compensate. Yeah. So you want the, the, the seat straight up. You want to actually, uh, they used to recommend always 10 and 12 at the, the that's where you want your hands, but you right, really want right. them lower on the steering right, wheel. Right. Because that's going to keep everything in a better position and not put us so much uh, pain or stress on the nerves of the neck. Right. So. Can, um, we, can we show the ball, Bob? Sure. This is one of those treatments that's really nice. Just get a nice, soft, cushy ball that the kids play with. And you know, you could do this at work, at home, and you're just going to lean into it right in there and stretch back. And you can do the, like Bob likes his hallelujah stretches. Hallelujah stretches. There you go, Bob. And this it's, ball is a little bit big for me. I prefer a little bit smaller, but this is working fine. This would definitely help with thoracic outlets. Yep. It's actually going to help with a, even a neck problem. Yep. It's, it's, it's just, it, it works out real good. And yeah, if you find a chair that you can't find a chair that fits you right for doing your neck extensions, you can put that ball back there sure. and do that. Exactly. Just real quick advice on the pillows in the bed. Oh yeah. Um, when you're sleeping on your back, you don't want to have too many pillows like this because you're going to be forward like this, like this all night long. Yeah, look at this head forward yeah. posture. You want your neck in as close to neutral as possible. So what you do is actually down to one pillow. Now look at my neck is lined up with my shoulders just like it should be. When you're on your side, if you're a side sleeper, you would use two pillows then. Right. Because you have a bigger gap here. Otherwise, you're going to be like this or like this. You want to be right in the middle, and look at this, Brad. I'm right in the middle. There you go. So. Let me push it down just a little <laughs> bit, Bob. I think the thing is, people. How many people have TVs in their bedrooms, and they they go just so they yeah. can see it, and they forget about their body posture. You know, it's those that's TVs. Where you might, are, that's you know, where you might want to get one of those wedges. Yeah. yeah so yeah, the old, all right. Oh, Thanks yeah. everybody for we're, watching. We're done now, Bob. <laughs>